Hi folks, remember that oil tank thing that we machined? That was a really cool project. Let's work on figuring out how we could recreate the CAD model for something like this. Welcome to the Fusion Friday. Okay, so see all these really sweeping crazy curves? This means we've got to use splines, and I actually won an award for being one of the worst people ever in the history of CAD using splines. But no, seriously, let's let's play around with it. Let's see if we can get a little bit better and more comfortable because it's really cool. So I want to cheat. I want all the help that I can get. So hit print screen on your keyboard. File, new design, right click, new component. JWS spline attempt. Now what I want to do is paste that screen capture, that screenshot into this file so that I can use it as a trace to reference a guide. Because what we want to do is recreate the outline of what I've got highlighted in blue and then we'll use a revolve. And you'll see that'll do most of the heavy lifting, which is pretty cool. Now I don't remember why I thought you could select a face when you went to insert decal. Why they call it decal, I have no idea. Picture or screenshot or image to me would make more sense, but you can't. So we need we need to put, uh, create a real quick object uh, just to paste our screenshot onto. It's kind of silly, but uh, you'll see. So I'm gonna just create a center rectangle, pretty large. E for extrude, negative 0.01. So I've got a 10 thou thick, you know, rectangle. Insert decal, select face. That's the face I want. Select the image, go to my desktop, screen capture, and boom, rotate it 90 degrees. And then it will, oops, yeah, it will help. My screen recording software makes this a little bit weird to work with sometimes, folks, so sorry. It will help to get it pretty close um, to having, uh, let's see here, it would be that point, I think, on center. I'm not trying to make this thing perfect. I'm trying to show show how we can get a little bit better with splines. Okay, I think, I think that's good. Click OK. So in our file, we've now got bodies, which is the, you know, whatever you want to call that, the background thing. We've got our decal. And I have a sketch that I use to create this. If you start creating a sketch, I'll hit um, L for line, I'll pick this. If you start sketching right on the same plane, I think, oh, this works. Okay. On my other computer, it was, um, the decal was popping in and out. Like it didn't want to, uh, it would disappear, which was creating a pain in the butt. So now I'm actually going to move this decal around to line it up a little bit better with that point that's on origin. So right click, edit decal. I want to move it down just a hair. So if that's a Y, I'll say negative 0.01. Yeah, it's pretty good. And click OK. So again, I can't use the decal as CAD uh, to like snap to or any of my sketch constraints, but I can use it as a trace. So now I need to start tracing along this sweepy curve. And sorry, I know it's, it jumps in and out with the flicker a lot. Um, I turn that body off. Yeah, I lose it. Sketch, spline. There we go. Pick that point. Now here's the what little I can tell about splines, having played around with them, is that you want to create nodes or points every time the shape changes direction. So hit escape here. There's a actually I think probably a couple of curves here, and then a curve to here, a curve to here. Basically, you can add and delete them, so don't worry about getting it right at first. Um, that's and that's another big one of my big theme, themes is don't get psyched out. Just start making something and we'll fix it as we need to. So I've got a lot going on right here. So, and all of a sudden, look, look, like it works. Again, I, I like used to freak out because with splines, you click like a point here and then all of a sudden you're like, why is it doing this weird stuff? I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. It's amazing. 
And again, if I hadn't done the screenshot to paste this thing in, I would be um, I would be in a really bad place right now. But this is freaking amazing. And again, it, we can come back and edit it. The one big thing, oh my God, don't hit escape. If you hit escape before you like, I don't know, finish the spline or do something to like close the spline, it uh, it just assumes you were you wanted to throw away all of your efforts, which is uh, demoralizing to say the least. It's when you want to throw your computer. Look at that! It's like it knew. Obviously, it does not know. For the record, it has no idea that there's an image behind it. It's not doing any sort of, like if you've ever used Photoshop, there was this old magnetic lasso thing that was cool, but I'd never really got it to work like you would want it to. This is much better. Oh my God. I love it. I, like seriously, I, I, I've used splines. Actually, the first Fusion Friday was, uh, it was the sculpt environment, which I, ooh, isn't that still splines? I'm really bad at this. Um, but otherwise, I stay away from them because I'm scared of them. And I think this is a great example of if you pull something in that you can either relate to or you can work from, it's a lot easier to build your confidence. So this is not going well. So see how this is too curvy? It's because a spline carries through. I'm not going to speak to this correctly in sort of the actual science, but a spline carries through the rate of change from the former spline. So see the, the I can't show, my, well, yeah, here. That was too steep. And that's making this too steep. But we can flatten that out, I bet you, when we come back and fix this. So don't, again, don't worry. Don't hit escape and abandon all effort. Double click. And see how I double click? It gives me all of these, I forget what they're called, the control bars or something. Pretty darn cool. But now we're in a safe place. Hit save. And look, let's go back to that spot here. So see how this overshot and then this kind of undershot if we pull this in it all kind of fixes itself it's kind of like what actually what this probably tells me is that the person who made this file um, also used spline so now here I kind of want to tighten that up so if I right click and do insert spline fit point oh come on I thought that's what it was hmm There we go. Oh, I just double clicked. That's funny. Um, okay, I did one too. So right click, delete that one. And now I can pull this one and pull it in a little. So it's a, you know, at this point you can spend a bunch of time, but at a zoomed out level, that is perfect. That is way better than using lines and circles and fillets like I admit that I would have before. So L for line. I am going to use a straight line to come down the sidewall, escape. Now I'll go back, sketch, spline, and let's spline her up. And it's cool, like I, I was playing around with this last night, practicing a little bit so I didn't look like a complete bumbling idiot on this video. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is therapeutic. Um, I had never thought myself to do the screenshot trick. Uh, and this is what I wanna do now. Find stuff, take pictures of it, bring it into Fusion, and get to learn to be a better modeler. This is amazing. This is like therapeutic because it, when it works, it's incredibly satisfied because it feels like you're building something instead of, you know, nobody likes looking bad, don't be looking bad or being bad at something. And it's kind of like okay, so that's what it is. I feel like I am, in this case, I feel like Fusion and splines are making me look like uh, I am a better. Uh, industrial designer or CAD craftsman than I really am. And anytime something, a tool or software makes you better than you probably are, that's a win in my book. Okay, so double click on that little dot to close it. We should be good. If I turn off my decal. Um, okay, so this first line, the right here, I'm going to hit, you well, know, it's annoying with that. It keeps switching colors on me. Sorry, folks. But I want to click that line and hit X for construction. So now what I'm going to do is revolve that profile. S to pop up your keyboard, the shortcut REV for revolve. I want to revolve that around my Y axis, or Z axis, excuse me. Look, 
hit that. Now, you're probably saying, but John, it was only a semicircle halfway around. Okay, no big deal. Calm down. Right click, edit the profile or edit the feature and change the angle to 180. Click OK. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Look at that. It's my like fourth time ever using splines.